Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie, and it's day three of the Advent Tournament. And today, hearts will be broken. Today we have two very interesting matchups from bracket three. We're gonna start today with the number three seed versus the number 30 overall seed. From there, we're gonna move into a matchup that you don't wanna miss because one of our favorites is going to be eliminated no matter what today. And then there's been some upsets already and we're only on day three. It's gonna get uglier. 1792 Full Proof is our barrel proof number one seed for bracket three. Wild Turkey 101 is the lowest seed in this bracket. Full proof is 125 proof, while Turkey 101 is 101 proof. I think that the proof is gonna give one of these away. They actually, the colors are not that far off. I'm just gonna go for the nose on each of these to see how they compare. Based on the nose, glass number two, at first I thought was more cinnamon, but now I think maybe it's more proof. Uh, but this, the nose on glass number one is terrific. There's a lot of vanilla in here, a lot of cinnamon. Glass number one is actually really well balanced. Whatever it is, it's. It has a, a lot of flavor. Yeah, and it's got a really nice long finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. There's a lot of flavor on the finish of this as well. It's spicy, there's caramel, there's vanilla. It's solid bourbon flavor there. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, super flavorful. Get a lot of oak finish there. Yeah, there's oak that sort of tamps down the, the heat. Move on to glass two. Oh, now that I've had a couple of sips of glass one, glass two has more of a butterscotch note in the nose. And a lot more um, of that ethanol that comes, kind of like bites back at you. It's certainly stronger. It's certainly hotter. It's rich. They both sort of coat the tongue nicely though. Mm. The finish is where this one is coming through. There's, there's almost a candy, like a candy, like a, a almost bubble gum, sort of like what we were getting from the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. There's a, there's a lingering uh, sweetness there. Yeah, my second sip, after I got a lot more out of it, it kind of broke through a little bit more. Because at first all I was just getting was just that like heat in my mouth. Yeah. And then it kind of broke through and I got a little bit of that sweetness. Glass two for me is is so much vanilla and so much sweetness. It's the most candy-like finish we've experienced so far, I think. Mm -hmm. It's hot though, no doubt about it. Glass it is. two is hot. I got this one. You got it. You already really made a decision. And I feel bad because I really didn't say anything about either of them. They're both good in different ways, but for me, it's a pretty quick decision. On which it's one an I easy like. decision for you. Not an easy, just uh, <laughs> I know which one that I like better. I'm a big fan of the Barton 1792 distillery flavor profile. The butterscotch, the vanilla, the caramel. It's there's so much richness and sweetness and candy there. I expected it to steamroll the wild turkey. I think there's. There's very little doubt which one is in which glass here. I, they're, the proof gives them away, obviously, but I'm having a little trouble deciding. I did not expect to have trouble deciding today. <laughs> I, thought, I thought matchup two was going to be where we were gonna have all of our drama, and I'm already getting into it here. It's tough, this is a tough decision. I found it less tough. Equally delicious, less tough. I think I have a decision, and I'm gonna take one more sip just for old time's sake with, with this glass, and then I'm ready to, to call it if you are. I've been ready. <laughs> okay, which glass are you choosing? Glass number one. Glass number one. Which is what uh, letter? Uh, oh. We should uh, have Which is letter B. B? You're choosing glass. I'm choosing A. Oh, and now they're divided. I'm well, choosing that's so interesting. Glass, glass two is A. Okay. I'm gonna tell you what glass B is first so you know who your winner is. It's Wild Turkey 101. That's where I was wrong. That's I just... incredible. Well, there we go. Which means my winner is 1792 foolproof. We split again and this one was tough for me. It came down to the wire. Ultimately, I chose the one that had the flavor profile that I liked the best. I really love Wild Turkey 101. That's one of our daily drinkers. We reach for it all the time. I actually am so shocked because I actually thought that glass one had just an overall better palate experience. There was um, a there was a red hot cinnamon. Yeah, I didn't at get a, I didn't get a ton of flavor right off the bat. I mean, it did start building the more that I drank it, and I probably could if I kept drinking it probably could have changed my mind. But I didn't want to do that. Well, not feel like a cheap date. That works for me. <laughs> I'm a little bit surprised. Though I do like the one I want. This retails for around fifty dollars. 
this retails for about half that or less in some markets. So either way, you're going to get a ton of flavor. Again, neither of these bottles is a loser. They're both great. Yeah. And it speaks volumes to the Wild Turkey that it stood up so well to something that is priced twice its amount. Uh, again, both of these are great champions, and you're going to see them both in the second round. Wild Turkey for Julie, 1792 full proof for me. We'll be right back with the next matchup. And we're back. Matchup to two of my personal favorite bottles, one of our favorite bottles of the year. I'm scared. After <laughs> what happened in the last round. <laughs> These blind tastings, anything can happen. I'm actually really excited for this one. I'm ready. I'm gonna have to get out of my head on this one. <laughs> so this is the 19th seed overall versus the 14th seed overall. This is the weeded bourbon from the third bracket. This is the Old Forester Whiskey Row series, the 1920, which retails for about $60. And the Maker's 46, between 30 and $35, depends on if it's on sale or not. It's on oh. sale a lot. Yeah, both really delicious. So I'm I'm very much looking forward to this, though when you reminded me what our matchups were, I don't know if I was ready for them. This is a little scary. <laughs> we know that Makers 46 drinks real easy. Oh, you've got a cat. Hey, Norman, you ready to get started? When he squints at you, I think it means yes. <laughs> All right, okay. here we go. Ooh. I'm too fisting this one. <sighs> oh, man, oh, come on. The nose on glass two is ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. I thought glass one smelled good, and then I smelled glass two, and I was like, well, I don't even need to, no, I'm just kidding. I think what we've experienced before, the higher proof one, the ethanol sort of masks the aroma a little bit, at least initially. And if you swirl this one oh around and get some oxygen in it, it does open up a little bit. What are our proofs on this again? This is, uh, Old Forester 1920 is 115 proof, Makers 46 is 94 proof. And they're kind of giving themselves away again. The I'm color is also giving itself away a little bit. I don't want to know how much of these there. Man, I feel like you could smell them from glass number two all day long. <laughs> glass number two is beautiful. Glass number one has a lot of flavor. Bananas, caramel, vanilla, oak. <laughs> this is going to be funny because... It's <laughs> a warm one the first sip. It's almost like maple syrup if it was just soaked with tons of vanilla beans in it. Mm. But then you get that cherry at the end. There's definitely fruit back there. Mm. Glass one is good. really complex. Very good. Yeah. That nose on glass two is something else. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> glass two is good, but it's a little bit of a letdown from the nose, don't you think? I don't know. I got a lot of flavor. I'll take some more sips of this, but I, I'm not getting that on the palate as much. It's almost like if a milk dud grew on trees and was made of fruit instead of sugar. There is a, a <laughs> nice chocolatey note, yeah. Yeah, it's very good. They're both very good. They both have a chocolate note. The first one I was getting a little bit of a nutty note, but I don't get it all on the second one. The first one drank a lot hotter at the beginning. This one drinks a lot hotter at the end. Um, I'm feeling a nice little warm. I mean, it could be the compounding of the two previous and then these two. I am getting a, a, like, a lot of chocolate in there on glass number two. Oh boy, this is starting to open up really nice. The nose on glass one is more pronounced uh, the longer that it sits here, which makes sense. Glass two, I would say, has more oak character but it's just so a richer for me it's a, a richer smell it is it. a richer experience i would say yeah. that glass two though has so much oak that it's almost going to that funky side of things not that it would ever have that funkiness normally but i think the way that that's showing up is because we're comparing the two that's this sometimes happens when you're comparing things that you get flavors you never expected before like day two with the blends tasting like apple juice i'm gonna say I like both of these. This is a really hard one. I know which one I instinctively like more, like for my palate, instinctively like more. Obviously drink both of my glasses almost to the bottom. You got after it. <laughs> Good job. I'm not trusting my judgment anymore after that first round. I don't know if I can trust you as a person after you chose wood for wheat. I know. Over anything. I know. So just Okay. I, I've okay. never, I, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm not I'm completely always... wrong on these, I've never gotten so much chocolate off of this glass before, off of this bottle. It's so chocolatey. I'm confident that I know which one, each one of these is, and I'm sure you do too. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I was confident last time. 
again, it goes down to this okay, one nice of them is so easier fun. to one of them is definitely easier to drink. Yeah. But one of them has complexity and a satisfaction of if you were just to sit down with that glass. I feel like you're trying to sway me. I'm probably not doing it intentionally, but I'm probably doing it. I don't feel confident. I wanted to be like so confident that I knew my baby was gonna move forward. These are and both I, babies, so we love both these and bottles. I, and I'm like at a 50, I'm at a 50-50 that I know what's gonna move forward. I liked them both, and that makes this fun. Have you made a decision? I did. Well, I don't have anything left, <laughs> so I have to just go by memory alone. And I feel scarily okay with my situation. I do too. I'm completely confident. I had to get to the very bottom of the glass to get there, um, but once I got to the bottom of the glass, the choice became obvious for me. You first. So I'm choosing glass one. It is complex. It is obviously to me the higher proof here, but it is complex. It is flavorful. The finish is long lasting. The The nose on this one is a little subdued, I think, because of the ethanol in it. But on the palate, the more I drank of it, the more it opened up. The oak, the smell of the oak came around um, at the end for this one, whereas there was oak all through this one. But at the end, the oak here was a little bit funky for me. The chocolate was a little bit unsettling for me. So I hung in there with glass number one. Pretty sure this is gonna be our 1920, but I, I don't know for sure. What did you think? Can you taste what you Sure. There's not much. I chose glass number two. Are you sticking with it? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Tell me why. I just like it. <laughs> we split again. <laughs> Okay. We should not be doing these videos together. We are not on the same page. I'm having a great time. <laughs> All right, let's see which is which. This would be the first Old Forester product you didn't choose, if if I'm right. Um. In one of these competitions. 100, because if the last um, couple matchups that we've done, Old Forester has been part of it, and I chose it hands down over everything else. Sure. I hope you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's look. At glass number one, it is B. Is yours? Is your glass number one B? <laughs> yeah, we should check that. Yes, it is. Okay. B is glass number one, 1920. So glass A, you chose the Maker's 46. That's the first time you haven't chosen Old Forester in a competition. I feel like I want to cry. There's nothing wrong with that. You you haven't broken up. You're just seeing other people. I don't want to see other people. It's an open relationship now. I don't want an open relationship. I like Old Forester. Also, in my fake bracket, I had it going all the way to the final. This is why we do tests. I don't want to do any more tests. <laughs> we knew it was going to be a heartbreaking day. We knew that it was going to be very, very tough. And day three... Is it because I ate all the salted peanuts today? I don't know, if we had a Knob Creeker in there, you might have oh. gone a different route. Okay. So from wherever we are. <laughs> oh, to where to wherever you are, sure. Cheers. <laughs>